Hi, I'm Deborah Nixon. I'm here to share with you a real story about my life and how life insurance saved my life. You know, I was living an average life just like everybody. I had a child, he was two and a half. I was, I actually thought, you know what? My life's perfect right now. I am in such a great place. My husband had his own business. It was going really well. I was achieving my dream, which was to be a mom. Plus, I was doing my doctorate degree. Like, what could be better, right? And the future was perfect. Well, you know, the way life always goes, or we don't want it to go, is my husband was suddenly diagnosed with cancer at the age of 36. It was probably the most devastating thing anybody could tell me. You know how you can say to somebody, I got that cold feeling that just ran through my body. I remember it like yesterday. That is exactly how I felt. I thought, oh my God, my life is over. The next year was spent with really trying to juggle a million things. His treatment, our, our house was being renovated, bathroom and kitchen. And here I'm bringing this, this very sick man home from the hospital and trying to raise a, a two and a half year old on my own uh, without any support, no siblings, no parents. My husband died a year later. And of course, as you can imagine, it was just earth shattering. But I have to tell you something. My life might have really, truly been over, except for one thing. My husband and I had debated over the years, and like everybody else, that, oh, we should get, he should get some life insurance. And he says, yeah, 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 I'll do it, I'll do it, but I'm young, I'm healthy, yeah, I'll get around to it. He even had the forms. They even sat at the desk. And he wouldn't get around to filling them. But you know what? There was one day where I was just on his case and I said, okay, enough. Our child Zachary is a year and a half and this is making me really nervous. What if something happened to you? What if you got hit by a car? Like, what would I do? So we finally agreed to fill that form out and we got life insurance. So that was November of a, of a specific year. His diagnosis of cancer took place the following August. Now I want you to fast forward a year later and my husband's died. Now think about it. I've got a two and a half year old. I am not working. We have a house with a mortgage. He's running and building a business. So all of our money is invested in that business and there's nothing to spare. Would you expect your husband to die at 37? I didn't. But you know what? If I had not had that life insurance nine months before, I literally would have been on the street because I had nothing. You know what? I had $100,000 in RRSPs, which I, if I had cashed in, would have only given me 50. I couldn't have lived on 50. I had nothing else. But that life insurance, you know what it allowed me to do? It allowed me to pay off my mortgage. It allowed me to stay in my house. It allowed me not to have to rush out to work. It gave me time to grieve. It gave me time to get my affairs in order. It gave me time to be with my son and raise him. And it allowed me to go through a natural transition, which takes a long time to get my life back in order. Here we are all these years later. My son's now 18. I'm in such a great space. I'm still in that house. I've built my own business and I've recovered and done so, so well. And I'm still living and investing that life insurance. That life insurance literally saved my life. If I can leave you with anything is to tell you, never make the assumption that you've got time. You don't know what happens. Your, your family member could leave that house, get hit by a bus, or maybe be disabled, maybe be bedridden. You have no idea. But what if they died? How would you manage if your partner died tomorrow? Would you be able to do what I did, which is stay in your house 
and have time to get over things and to grieve and to take the time you need to get your life in order, that's what you need. And if you don't have life insurance right now, I think you should sit down with your partner and you should talk about that and you should make a move because it literally will save your life. Thanks for listening.